You wanted to re renegotiate a relationship with me, but you wouldn't even have a decent one with them. Man, just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. So it seems like that would be the craziest part of this episode, but it wasn't. Not for me, not by a long shot. In this episode, we saw, we saw Cody's true colors. We saw Robin's true colors. We learned more about Mary. We learned more about Janelle. And, and I, at least I was impressed with how well Christine rose above it all. Okay, let me start with Robin because she generates the most frustration in me. In this episode, Robin asked the question, well, Christine, if you're leaving, are you just going to keep focusing on the relationships with the people that you're connected to, Janelle and her kids, uh, or are you going to try and stay connected to the rest of us? And Christine said, you know, initially I'm going to stay connected to the people that I, I'm connected to, and I need some distance from everybody else. And Robin is devastated by this. She's hurt. She starts crying. Cody jumps out to protect her. She's always treated you poorly. And it turns into this big sort of histrionic event. And I think it is all BS. I think it is just a marker of Robin's selfishness, of Robin's need to be the center of attention. Robin has, if you think about this whole family, Robin is in the prime position, right? She's the one who gets the most love and support. She's the one who's connected to Cody. And historically, in my opinion, she has done almost nothing to support the other wives, right? She's, she's gone on, to, on camera and cried about it, but has she really helped Cody connect? Has she really worked to create a relationship with Christine? Has she gone over to visit Christine? Has she called Christine? Nothing. And now Christine's leaving, and Robin knows that the only way that she can get attention, the only way that she can be in the right, is to be the victim. So instead of making this about Christine's pain, instead of even making it about Cody's pain, Robin goes, how do I make it about me? And I'm going to be hurt. The way to do that is I'm hurt that you're abandoning me. I wanted a relationship with you. I wanted to be connected to, I wanted you to be connected to my kids. I want, and it's like, shut up, Robin. It, 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 it's, it's so transparent to me. And then the idea that both in last episode and this episode, and I didn't even think about this until somebody said it in my comments, Robin is acting like Christine is coming out of nowhere leaving her husband, like, like she has no right to do it, like she's abandoning the family, like she's doing the wrong thing. And it's like, of all the people here, Robin, aren't you the only one that divorced a husband prior to coming to this family? Robin's done it. Robin has been in a terrible relationship, and I don't know the details of the relationship, but I know it must have been a terrible one because she left her husband and joined the Brown family. So the idea that she can't create the connection between what she experienced when she made her decision to leave and what Christine is going through is ridiculous to me. I'm certain she can make the connection, but she's not willing to. She's not willing to really put herself in somebody else's shoes. So that's Robin. And then you have Mary in this episode, who who right and historically has been upset and hurt by this because she feels like Christine is abandoning her and abandoning the family. And Mary feels like, I'm in this horrific relationship with Cody. I'm in this loveless marriage, and I'm suffering, so you, Christine, should suffer also. That's been Mary's kind of stance globally. In this episode, I thought it was really interesting that she was so cold to Christine and turned so much towards Robin, who, who I don't know if they have a strong connection historically. My sense is probably not. To me, this is Mary's effort to align herself with Cody. Christine's gone. Janelle's following her closely behind. Janelle's connected to Christine. I feel like there's a part of Mary that likes them leaving, that likes them being on the outs because it brings Mary closer to Cody. And so the way for her to cultivate that close relationship is to partner with Robin and be her shoulder to cry on and all this kind of stuff. And I think it's just, it's just Mary surviving. Janelle, on the other hand, is surviving in a very different way. So I couldn't, to me, the idea of moving into this camper on Coyote Pass, headed into the winter with no electricity and no water seems like a freaking nightmare. I've, I've, I have sort of secretly been with Cody in his sort of like surprise that she wants to do it. And then in this episode, she explained that she has nothing to her name. But if she builds a home on Coyote, Coyote Pass, that home will be in her name. And I think that's why she's so hell-bent on making this happen. 
She's so hell-bent on making Cody follow through with his promise and paying for her home so that she has something under her name that she can take if and when she leaves the family. I think it is her bargaining chip. I think it is her, it's her lifeline. That's why she's pushing it. It's, it's her exit strategy. So I, I, it was just, you know, throughout this whole process, she has been so supportive of Christine. She understands Christine. She's aligned with Christine. And she thinks that Cody is acting like a monster, is my perception. And it frustrates Cody and it frustrates everybody else. But the reality is that Janelle is a very independent thinker. She sees what's going on and she's advocating for herself and advocating for Christine. And Coyote Pass is part of that. And that brings us to the man of the hour, Cody, who was who was in rare display in this episode. So, so first of all, the, the, the highlight for this episode was Cody screaming about how Christine has stabbed him in the kidney or the, stabbed the kidney of the family or whatever. And I think people thought that he was being aggressive or hyperbolic or what. And I think that's all true. I also think that's probably pretty appropriate. When people get divorced, they get mad. You're talking about the breakup of a really long-term relationship. So his expression of frustration I think is appropriate. His logic or the reason behind that, I think, is just totally out to lunch. I think he is, I mean, just think about his focus on how Christine hasn't taken any accountability. He wants her to recognize that it's her fault. Do you remember when he he lays this out? You have done nothing but take from the family. You've used me. You've You've just been a consumer. It's all been about you. And then he goes, let that sink in there for a little bit. And he just wants Christine to marinate in the pain that he's caused by this biting insult. And then he goes, you know, the next clip is him talking, you know, being interviewed with TLC. And he goes, she doesn't take any accountability for anything. And it's like, Cody, you are the most deluded person if you think you haven't caused all of this. Cody has destroyed the relationship with Christine. He is, has, I think, destroyed it with Janelle and destroyed it with Mary. He's damaged to such a degree the relationship with all of his kids, and it's all been about him. It's just such a, a, a projection to say that Christine's the problem here. And then maybe the worst part of it was when Cody turned to Christine and screamed that he had suffered because he had to show her affection. He complained because he had to hold her hand, he had to hug her, he had to show her love, and he's screaming because it was so painful for him to love his wife. And it's like, in what world does a woman stay with a partner that has such disdain for them, d- such disdain for showing affection? It's, it's like you couldn't have a more clear reason to leave somebody. And again, the fact that Cody won't let himself understand that his treatment of Christine has led to this is wild to me. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was at the end of the episode, they showed Cody and Robin or talked about Cody and Robin dropping Ariella off to her first day of kindergarten. And then it's... You know, they showed Cody being there when the kids returned home from school. And I thought, good for Cody for doing that. And what a freaking shame it is that he doesn't treat the other kids that way, right? He's not doing that with, with, with Truly. He's not treating the other, not, not treating Isabel that way. It, 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 the disparity is so clear to me. And, and I know that everybody in the comments says, oh, this is, a, this is how these families work. But, but again, I interviewed somebody in one of these families, and I believe it's really clear that The husband's responsibility is to treat all of the wives and their kids fairly. And Cody simply isn't doing that. So thank you for listening. If you want longer form content, I did record myself watching this episode, and I'll post it on my channel as well. Um, And as always, please leave your comments below. Hit the like button. It's really helpful for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, And I'll see you next week. Thank you.